Uh, Senator Hillard. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Again, thanks for holding this hearing. Also to our witnesses that are here today, thank you for taking time. Uh, Ms. Patterson, most of my questions will be directed towards you. Um, yesterday, the Washington Post reported that the NFL and the Players Associations are still at odds uh, regarding changes to the personal conduct policy and how players discipline is handled. Um, is that accurate? I would say yes. It is accurate. That's correct. Um, also in the article, the union has taken the position that a player should have the right to determine whether they play or not after an incident like domestic violence or sexual assaults take place. Is that also accurate? Uh, I wouldn't say that's accurate generally. Can you be more specific? Well, it, it's hard with the hypothetical. I, I, I don't... I'm just taking the article. Is it true right. um, that the union's position <clears throat> is that a player should determine for themselves under certain uh, incidents like domestic violence or sexual assault take place, determine for themselves whether or not they should play? No, I would not say that's accurate. What, what is accurate? Uh, that we, have, we want to have confidence in a process in terms of discipline if an incident does occur, and we would like to collectively bargain with the League on how that discipline is applied. So you're saying that the article in the Washington Post is inaccurate? I'm saying the question that was posed, and it sounds narrowly such because I'm not familiar with the article and nor was I asked to be a part of it, but I I'm saying that that part that you just asked me about is inaccurate. I'm just trying to get to the point as to whether or not the Players Association is saying it's okay to knock out a woman with one punch on Wednesday and still suit up for a team on Sunday. Absolutely not. We do not condone domestic violence. I stated that earlier, and I will keep stating it. What we do is defend players, and we defend the process. Was a 12-game suspension appropriate for knocking out uh, his fiance with one punch in the Ray Rice case? I don't know that that was appropriate. What we think is inappropriate is inconsistent and unfair handling of players and their issues. What would it be an appropriate? I mean, you're eluding the questions. What would be an appropriate suspension for a for an individual that knocks out his wife. Well, Senator, I apologize yeah, for appearing to elude the questions, but I just have to respectfully say that the union is not in the business of applying discipline. We are in the business of representing our membership to the full extent of their rights, both under the law and under the collective bargaining well, agreement. I, I would tend to disagree, Ms. Patterson. You're either for stopping. You're either for stopping sexual assault, domestic abuse, and child abuse, or you're not. Right, but I'm not suggesting that we're condoning any sort of well, let me ask you this question then. Let me ask you this question. Do you believe sexual assault, domestic violence, and child, child abuse are far more important, far more important than the union's issues with collective bargaining? I would agree that they're far more important, but that's outside the scope of what we're talking about in terms of labor. I agree that societal issues are, are more important, yes. Mr. Chairman, I have no more questions. Yeah, you've done a very good job on the ones you've asked. 